hope you're all happy and well. I'm back out this weekend up at Lanark, Scotland, meeting a pal of mine, Dave, who's the landowner. He's allowing us to go do um, a two-night camp. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of metal detecting um, with a pal from work. His name begins with T. No, it's not Trevor. No, it's not Terence. It's Tony. Not the Tony you know. A pal from work, Tony. Say hi. Hello. Yep, so we're going up to Scotland, we're going to do two night camp, uh, hopefully do a bit of metal detecting, hopefully find some nice items from up there, so I'll bring you back when we get there. Well, we're coming into Scotland now. Right guys, we've arrived at camp. Uh, there's my tent, uh, gifted me to me by my brother. Nice camo tent. There's Tony's tent. Tony B, I'm going to call him. Yep. There's oh, Tony, can't, can't, just can't getting sorted Tony out. A. Tony A, he's, um, he's somewhere else, Tony A. <laughs> Tony A is my trusty sidekick, innit? You know Tony, Tony A. I know Tony uh, A. Right, we've got all his um, stuff set out. Tony's just going to be showing his, um, Rachel, his little gadgets. Us. Recently purchased. Here, here, look at that, what's that? He's trying to get up. Come on, I'll give you an hand. Some sort of insect. But there's his little uh, pots and pans. He's just nearly crushed that insect. Oh, isn't it cute? Nearly. Mm. That's all right, that Tony, isn't it? And that's all I'm cooking on today. Bosch, my old military cup, and my spark. He's going gas today. I'm going to get a rabbit in there, let that shoe down for a <laughs> if we couple, can, couple of if days. If we can catch one. <laughs> so yeah, there's his camp. My, I'm in little tent. Tony's in a uh, ginormous tent. And that's his little, where we're going to have a fire later on. Hopefully have a few beers. Well, we've decided to go into Lanarkshire to have a, a pint in the Black Bull. Um, we're back at Dave's land. Um, we're just going to take um, a little Essent bit of drink. We're going to take the essentials. Obviously. The essentials. It's Jack Daniels. Um, and we're going to have a little walk over, over there uh, because there's some foundations that um, are allegedly um, a prisoner of war camp, a German prisoner of war camp. So we're gonna have a look at them foundations. Uh, just a little bit of an adventure, really. Right, we're uh, having a little walk to a foundation that's um, supposed to be um, a prisoner of war camp, German. Um, so, little adventure, little, little walk out. So. I'll bring you back when we get to the foundations. There's not much at building left. Uh, but there's a lot of foundations still there, so. Right, guys. We've come across this little, um, what looks to be maybe an old chimney of some sort. Just off the motorway. Not sure what it is. I think it may be a chimney. Um, it's got, it must look like air vents or something. Uh, unusual right we're coming across these foundations now uh, I don't know if you can just see them near that tree we're on these foundations now uh, this is actually this is what I'm stood on um, there's all brickwork there if you can see it it goes all the way up there. Uh, what brickwork? Allegedly, it were a prisoner of war camp. Uh, there'd have been steps there. There would have been steps there. 
going up. Yep, there would have been steps then, going up into buildings. Uh, there's some there, look, let's have a look over here. Yeah, look, would have been steps, if you can just see them. Steps going up, obviously into the building. And you'd have entered, you'd have entered it there. Oh yeah, this is uh, allegedly the, uh, used to be a prisoner of war camp. There's uh, more foundations over there, which we'll have a look at. Uh, but we're a pretty big building, pretty big building, what it looks of it. Let's jump down here. <coughs> foundations all the way across there. This building would have been big. Would have been big. All the way across there. All the way down there. To where they are. It would have been a big building. I mean, I'd have loved, I'd have loved, do you know what? I'd have loved to have seen this building in its heyday. Um, it's just everything's overgrown around it and that. But it looks a bit, there's some fresh trees been planted. Uh, there's a few stumps where trees have been probably harvested. Um, but yeah. Apparently in the 1940s, there was a prison of war camp here. I mean, I don't know how true it is, but um, it's what Dave's been told. He's a local lad who uh, has been told that, so I don't know. Yep, there's some more steps here, look. You see, look at all that. Just, nature's just took over. We've uh, arrived, we walked a little bit further and we've arrived at a, a place where it looks a little bit like a snide version of Stonehenge. Do you know what I mean? We've got a big boulder there, a few boulders down there. They're just chilling on a bench near a big boulder. Do you know what I mean? Look. It's a standing Crushed it. What's it called? A standing stones. Standing stones. Looks like a snide version of Stonehenge to me. Snide version. <laughs> well, what this is, it's just a, a cheap knockoff of Stonehenge. Look, it, it's a knockoff. <laughs> right, guys, we're, we're back at camp. Uh, got a fire going. Uh, we're going to cook. I'm going to cook a bit of beef stew, a little cotton coction that I've made. Uh, we're just going to chill now, we've been on a long walk today, so we're probably not going to do any metal detecting today, it might be tomorrow, so uh, bear with us, and uh, I'll bring you back when my stew's done. Check that out, some beef stew, didn't take long, crushed it, om nom 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 nom. I'm done. Yeah. Right, we're all having a drink in uh, his little, um, well, I'm going to call it Hilton Hotel, because it's <laughs> awesome. Look at comforts here we've got. We've got a table there, look. We've got a fire there, which is smouldering. Tony's about to do his first ever birch bark fire lighting. First ever one. Oh, here we go, oh, straight time. away. Look at that. First time. Excellent. Buzzing. I can't yard do with that. You right know. then, how's it going? Yep, we're um, still here. Um, we're, we're still here. 
we're having a little drink around the fire. Um, the fire the, that I made. The fire that Tony made. I made there. that one. Uh, that one there. By my hands. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yep. The, um, congratulations anyway, Tony. Thank to you. Getting your first um, fire steel fire going. Um, if I but yeah, we, that, we, if I hadn't done that, then Paul couldn't have eaten tonight. We, uh, if he wouldn't have done that, I couldn't have eaten tonight, me. I'd have <laughs> starved. I'd have um, gone really hungry. <laughs> and uh, so, so would Dave. Dave would have gone hungry as well. But, yep, the um, first bushcraft task, he um, passed with flying colours. Does he get a certificate? So yeah, he should get a certificate, but yeah, like, um, you know, like in school when you like you do you do your fifty meters, you get your certificate. Do I get out like that? No, you just oh. get a thumbs up, mate. Oh, All right, yeah. freaking. Eh, what does he want? Eh, what's he want? What's he want? What's he want? Eh, he gets thumbs up. To put on wall or something. I've got a you know what certificate. Mean? My neighbours need me. Why not? He gets a certificate. He gets a thumbs up, mate. Not a certificate. He's done well today. Right guys, we're back out on a metal detecting vid today. Um, we had a good night last night, as you can see, with the footage. Um, I did get a little bit drunk, uh, feeling a bit rougher than Tarzan's feet this morning, but I'm back out, drunk plenty of water, so, yep, we're back out, throwing is started already. Doing a bit of metal detecting. So, I will bring you back on first find. First find, little brass button. Right, guys, we have a signal. It's in the clump here. Let's see what we've got. There we go. We've got a little coin. First coin at day, buzzing. Oh no, it's not a coin, it's a button. Oh, that looks like a nice little find. That's a little button. That looks like a really old button. Look at that, what a, what a beauty. Buzzing with that. We have another signal there. Well, uh, it looks like we've got a button there today. Check that out. Little button. Uh, I'll give it a clean, see if there's out on it. Well guys, um, that's the best I can do at the minute. Um, I'm guessing it says own make and it's got something on the bottom but I can't make out. Uh, but yep, another button. Right, we have another signal. I'll bring you back. Right, um, it's in the clump somewhere. Let's have a look. It's in my hand. Whatever it is, let's have a look. See if I can see how. Whatever it is, if it's small. Still in my hand. Come on, where are you? Nothing, mate, that. No. Yep, it's still in my hand. Whatever it is. There we go. I think I've found it. Yep, that's what it is. Whatever it is. Not sure. Right guys, I had a signal. Uh, you can see it there. That looks to be a really, really small bullet shell.
I look to have found a coin in the hole. Let's have a look what we got. Not sure what that is. But let me clean it up. Oh, I think I know what it is now. Yep. I think. Is that Elizabeth? On there, so it probably ain't that old. But I'll clean it up best I can. I think I see a date there. But I'll clean it up. I think it's a ten pence piece, an old ten pence piece. But I'll bring you back. Right, I've just dug a signal there. Uh, it's showing coin, but. It's still in clump, so I'm going to break this clump up, see what we can get out of this clump. It's still in there, whatever it is. Come on, there's something nice. There's something very nice. It's not in there. It's in here. It's in this little clump. There, what have we got? Is that it? Nope. Let's have a look what we got. It's not in there. It's still in there. Whatever it is. Hmm. Strange. I can't really see it in there. I'll bring you back if I find it. It must be tiny. Right, found it. Just a little bit of scrap metal. Right, Tony's digging a, a signal that he's got. Put your metal detector over it. Right guys, Tony's found what um, looks to be a canteen, I it think. CWS in Invincible. Okay. Well, it? so, got? Oh, yeah. It's got a maker's mark on it. We're going to um, chill out now. Um, Tony, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned, he's a drummer, he's in a band. Um, and it just happens that Dave has got a full drum set in his shed. So, if it's all there, Tony is going to be assembling it. And he's going to do a bit of drumming for us. Right, guys, introducing Tony Batley from Dawes Inc. Right, we're back at camp, uh, we're going to have a, a pot of tea, uh, make a brew and that, and then we're going to pack all the stuff up and uh, set off back to Leeds. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, a short video of us camping, metal detecting, um, having a bit of fun, we've had all, we've all had a nice drink last night, um, but yeah, we're good to see Dave, uh, I've not seen him in a while, so yeah, until next time, I'm going to say peace out. I'll see you on the next one.